Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're going to show you to arm and disarm your drone with the RC Controller 3. That's right, one of our viewers actually asked, let's see right here, how can you disarm and arm with this controller? Well, Johnny, we've got you covered. So without any further ado, let's get started. Again, this will work with the RC um, 2 or 3, um, and whether or not you have it set for manual mode, that's fine. We'll cover that particular um experience too so again you're gonna doesn't matter if it's set in manual mode or not i'm just gonna go right over here as you can see here this is set for manual mode this just means that the controller joystick is um pushed down right but you have um the arm and disarm mode over here you have normal uh sport and manual mode uh, but normally what you want to do is put the controller it sticks like this right and then your drone will start but you're probably wondering like i don't get it that's okay we've got you covered we're going to show you that experience too so we have our drone our avada 2 right here again this will work same way with the neo I'm just going to push everything to the screen so that you guys can see i'll just show you right here um you want to make sure that this is set for sport right oh uh, no normal sport manual okay and then you have here on um, the arm and disarm you, you you'll set that in the controller i'll show you how to do that in a second um so basically what we're going to do is i'm just going to push everything to the screen here there we are voila um where can i put my cell so that you guys can follow along i'll put myself right there and move it around in the screen all right so um Let's go back to the control sticks. But as you can see here, it's not on. So you want to make sure that your control stick is on. Okay. And we're going to turn it on. You hear that? It's on. See, and it just connected with the goggles and all that other fun stuff. Um, and once it's on, as you can see, I'm in end mode. All right. So you see, just follow the, the this little nice teal color. Um, end mode, right? And then we have from end mode, if we flip the switch we should be in sport mode. Um, at least, oh, there we go, sports. So there's a little bit of delay with the screen here, so it'll come back uh, anytime soon. But we're in sport, and then manual mode. See that? And then we have, so no, most likely if you've never flown in manual mode before, um, don't worry about it, you're not there yet. Uh, I'm just gonna add another window so that you guys can follow along. Okay. So we added another window just to make things just right for you. And as you can see, what we're going to do is um, watch this right here at the bottom. Okay. See manual mode. Now, if I wanted to arm it, right. See, um, if you're following along, watch the drone will start up. Okay. I'm going to bring it into this window so that you can see. But if you look, manual mode is the only way to start it like this. So if I have it on M, right. Let's see. Whoops. <laughs> Everything will go flying. Um, yeah, but you get the idea. Watch. See, I'm in M mode, right? And then, whoops. And that's how you disarm. You don't want to do that in the air um, because that will create a disaster. But knowing that moving forward, as you can see, I press that button and then watch. Um, as soon as I start, the drone should, magic should happen. All right. So knowing that. There we go. Remember, we're in M mode. Whoops. And, you know, it automatically starts the record button and all that other fun stuff. Now, the other way to start your drone, right, as you can see here, um, you're not going to be able to start it in M mode this way, right? You're going to have to be in what they call sport mode or normal. Um, so, as you can see, we'll put it back in sport mode in case you're wondering how that happened. Watch. See, I just moved it watch i'll show you again see if i go here if i go see i'm in normal mode sport mode and and then manual but we just covered manual so now that you know how that works here right we'll transition it so that you can see it on the screen um you have normal sport manual see sport no great there's no delay so you get the idea. Now, in order to start it in that mode, you have to bring the joysticks in like this. Watch. It'll start, but then 
Uh, it's a little bit tricky because it, it's not as instantaneous to shut off. Um, so shit's going to go flying around everywhere. But that's okay. We make these videos so you don't have to. All right, here we go. See? How nice. A little smoother. We can start up. See? And we can have the... Um, I'll show you right here. As you can see, it starts. And then now, to shut it off, to stop it, we'll just hold it like that. And then it stops. See? And then we'll try it again. Okay? And remember, we're in normal mode. See? Voila. Normal. And then we'll stop it. See? Kind of neat, huh? And then now, uh, if we do it in sport mode, hopefully it doesn't, like, go super drive. Okay, so let's try it again. Oh, nice. So it's just manual mode that creates that experience that um, is a little bit louder. The drone is, like, just more powerful. And now we'll see here. See? And now we'll try it again again and then we have here see and then push them in Voila. and again it only works in normal right and sport mode and for manual one last time we go here and away we go wait, wait. whoops <laughs> yeah you gotta be quick with the shut off but you do not want to do that um, while you're in the air doing that in the air will just drone will just fall from the sky can land on someone's head hurt someone or ruin your investment uh, so you know so knowing that and moving forward be careful um, there's a lot of tutorials on the internet that will show you how to fly in manual mode and when you're ready to do that that's M mode but don't be discouraged because you can still fly in normal and sport mode um, just, you know, look for that video that calls out to you because um, everyone has a different way of actually showing you how this is done. And then um, there will be another video on how to tweak this if, you know, if you want to know how to configure it so that you can actually have the settings work just right for you. And I'll leave that in the description down below. But that's pretty much it. Kind of neat, huh? Gotta love it. Anyway, I hope this video helped you. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.